snip, 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 snip. A huge clump of her hair came away from her scalp, and I let it fall gently to the floor in front of her. She had pulled down the cup on her lily-white bra by then, furiously rubbing her breast and masturbating herself. Shave me! As if in a trance. Shave me bald like, do it rough. That was all I could take. All right, cheer slut, I growled. I'm gonna cut off every fucking hair on your head. I started grabbing fistfuls of her hair and yanking it out away from her head so hard that her head jerked back and she yelped and moaned like an animal. Fuck! Shit! Cut it off! Cut it all off, baby! She screamed. I walked around to the front of her and sneered. You won't need those pretty bangs anymore, will you cheer, whore? I snipped away at her bangs, cutting them off right at her hairline. No more straight blonde bangs to hang like a curtain over Tiffany's gorgeous blue eyes. I slapped her across the face. Hard. Just the way she likes it. Uh, look at you! Miss Rich Bitch Head Cheerleader, the most popular slut in school, begging. I pulled out a huge hank of blonde hair from the top of her head and severed it off less than an inch from her head. Snip, 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 snip! More of her formerly beautiful hair rolled down the front of her dark blue cheerleader's sweater and into the white and light blue pleats of her cute little skirt. Her hair was ruined. Patches of hair stuck out all over her head. Only random strands of two-and-a-half-foot-long hair remained to suggest the once glorious head of hair that now lay on the floor around her. I went around in front of her, threw down the scissors, and picked up the clippers. We stripped and got into the shower, taking turns shaving each other with a can of shaving cream and a straight razor. Tiffany even had me shave off her eyebrows, and Tiffany Paris was completely bald. The rest of the team came to school the next day freshly shaven, but the talk of the entire school was Tiffany's new do. Julie, Lisa, Tina, Ashley, and Jennifer were as shocked as everyone else. But when she told her fellow cheerleaders why she did it, they all understood and applauded her for her courage and her school spirit. Tiffany noticed that they all appeared to get really excited when she told them how erotic it was to have had her head shaved. It must have made an impression, because by the end of the school day at the pep assembly, Tiffany told the school that the rest of the varsity cheerleaders had decided that if the team won the championship that night, then all the Cherry Hill varsity cheerleaders would get their heads shaved at a special school assembly to be held the first thing Monday morning. Later, Tiffany and her bald head was a sensation at the game. Her bald dome really stood out in the stadium, and I couldn't have been more proud. She was gorgeous. We fought as a team like we had never before, and then we were state champions. The celebrations continued all weekend. A wild, wild weekend, and then it was Monday. The whole school wondered whether the varsity cheerleaders would seriously consider as bold a move as Tiffany pulled and have their heads shaved, but we all piled into the gym and waited to see what would happen. The band started to play the school's fight song, and Julie Parton, Tina B., Ashley Blue, Lisa Darian, and Jennifer Wayne came out from a big curtain, smiling and jumping and waving their dark blue and white pom-poms. Where was Tiffany? The coach came out and said a few words and awarded me the Most Valuable Player Award. Then we sat through the state championship awards presentation, and still, I wondered where the hell was Tiffany. Well, that just about concludes today's awards presentations, except for a little business that will be presented to us by our head cheerleader, Tiffany Paris, announced the coach. Tiffany, would you come out here, please? The curtains opened. There stood my girlfriend, the head cheerleader, Tiffany Paris. She stood next to a long bench and was not only completely hairless over her entire body, up to and including her long, beautiful eyelashes, but she had dyed her whole body white with what I found out later was industrial strength permanent dye. She wore a skimpy dark blue bikini and dark blue high heels, and she had the letters CHH for Cherry Hill High painted in dark blue across her forehead and property of the Cherry Hill High School football squad across her chest and stomach in indelible ink. She smiled and waved her pom-poms and the whole school went berserk. How's that for team spirit? shouted the coach into the microphone, barely heard over the din of the shocked assembly. Tiffany smiled sweetly as all of the love and support of Cherry Hill High washed over her. So what do you think of the new look for the Cherry Hill High School varsity cheerleaders? She yelled into the mic. 
The crowd roared back its approval with wild applause and screaming. Good, she said, motioning to the other cheerleaders to sit down on the long wooden bench beside her. Ladies, she said with a big, beautiful grin on her lovely face. Jenny straddled the bench and sat on the end. Laying her pom-poms down on the floor beside her, Lisa sat down behind her. Then Ashley, then Tina, then Julie, and finally Tiffany sat down on the bench behind Julie. I thought to myself then that if it hadn't been for Tiffany being completely shaved, bald, and dyed white, wearing a dark blue string bikini and high heels, this looked like the varsity cheerleader's yearbook photo. The noise was deafening. Kids and teachers alike were literally screaming themselves hoarse, shouting, Cut it all off! Cut it all off! Then the chanting started, Shave! 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 Jenny, Ashley, and Lisa pulled the white ribbons and bows from their long, thick curls, and all the girls shook out their hair and fluffed it up one last time. Okay, girls, commanded Tiffany. Pick up your scissors. All of the girls, except for Jenny on the end of the bench, reached down to the side away from the hysterical audience and came up with a pair of hair-cutting shears apiece. Are you ready? shouted Tiffany, who was met with a resounding yeah from both the students and her fellow cheerleaders. Okay, cheerleaders, start cutting. 